Hey, welcome to Kavikam Tech. And today's video, we are going to discuss about the integrated rate law for first order reaction. Okay, in our chemical kinetics chapter, we will discuss the first order derivation. So, uh, first order is zero order reaction. The integrated rate law for first order and zero order. This is the first order. Okay, both are expected to be the first order. So, the first order is the first order. First order is the first order. First order is the first order. First integrated rate law for first order reaction. First order is the first order. If the order of the reaction is 1, then if the reaction gives a product, then the rate is equal to the rate is equal to the rate is directly proportional to the concentration of the reactant raised to the power. Here the power is 1. So this power only, if the power is 1, it is called first order. If the value is 2, second order, 0, 0 order, okay, it is like that. Now, if we remove this proportional symbol, proportional symbol is rate is equal to k a to the power 1. So this is the rate constant, I mean rate expression for the first order reaction. Okay, so now already the 10 standard length of the reaction is written as number rate, every yellow rate is written as number rate. The reaction is written as A is a reactant, it is written as concentration. Okay, so within square back length is concentration. The concentration is changed out. Change in the concentration with respect to change in time. So time is written as concentration decrease like here. अपन नाना ना बोलते हैं माइनस बोलो ये दो में ना हम रेट अपने इंटर दर लोअर क्लास के हम अपने चुप अपन रेट को उन्हें रेंडी एक्सप्रेशन करके रेट कैन बी नोटेड रेट इसी कोड के ए पर वन सो रेट इसी कोड माइनस डी ए पर डी टी सो दिस वी कैन टेक इट एस अ वन एंड दिस वी कैन टेक इट एस इक्वेशन नंबर so now I am going to rearrange this equation. Rearrange that A, I am going to bring it down. So minus D A by concentration of A, which is equal to K into D T. Okay, I am just going to integrate this equation. Okay, hope you would have learned this integration already. Minus D A by concentration of A, which is equal to K is a constant. You can keep it outside. Integration of D T. I am integrating with the limit. So in the limit, use puna pora bina. So the concentration of A on the initial concentration, I am going to take it as A0, final concentration A. Okay, similarly the time also, I am going to uh, mention, mention that the initial time is 0, final time is T. So when I integrate this minus dA by A, I will get minus ln concentration of A. Okay, with the limit A0 and A is equal to, K is a constant. When I integrate this dt, when I integrate this dt, dt you will get t, limit 0 to t. So we have to substitute the limit. So substituting the limit, upper limit minus lower limit, here upper limit is a. So minus ln, upper limit a as such, minus of minus, upper limit minus lower limit, already it has minus sign. So minus into minus plus ln a naught is equal to k, upper limit t minus lower limit 0. So you can rearrange this equation, while you are rearranging this equation, you will get the equations like a ln a. Okay, I will take this away at that side. So ln a is equal to ln a naught minus kt. Ln a is equal to ln a naught minus kt. Okay, you can compare this equation with the y is equal to mx plus c. Okay, so in which now this will be c, this will be m and x. Okay, so in which you can take this as y and t as x. If you do so, if you take uh, t in the x axis and uh, ln a in the y axis, you will get the straight line with the negative slope. The slope will be equal to k. Okay, so from this data, you can calculate the value of rate constant. k is nothing but the rate constant. So the next step, this equation I am going to write like this. This equation I am going to write like a ln a0 by a which is equal to kt. Okay, in which now we will have ln. ln stands for natural log. This you can uh, take into the usual logarithm. When you convert it into the usual logarithm, generally we will multiply by 2.303. When you multiply by 2.303, this equation will be like this. 2.303 log a0 concentration by a is equal to kt. You can re rewrite this equation, k is equal to 2.303 
divided by t log a0 divided by e. So, this is the integrated rate equation for the first order reaction. Okay, hope you understand. Now, okay, now we will discuss the integrated rate law for the zero order reaction. Okay, it is almost similar to the first order reaction. Okay, first of all, before we go into that, we should know what is zero order. Zero order na, or reaction, the reaction order rate, rate na speed. Okay, the rate of the reaction if it is independent of concentration of the any reactant. Reactant or concentration of Purtu, Illave, Illayadina, such reactions called the zero order, and the reaction is a rare reaction. For example, our example is A gives product. So, in the reaction, when you write the rate law, rate is equal to K. A power 0. Why I have taken 0 here? Because it is a 0 order reaction. So, sum of the power in the concentration term should be equal to the order. Here, order is 0. So, anything for 0 is 1. So, we can simply write rate is equal to k. So, already with our usual expression, we can write the rate is equal to minus d concentration of A divided by dt. So, when I equate these two equation, okay. So, minus d concentration of A by dt which is equal to k okay so i'm just rearranging this equation minus d concentration of a which is equal to k into dt okay once again i'm going to integrate this equation when i integrate this equation i'll take the minus sign outside integration d a so here also the limit the initial concentration to the final concentration a is equal to k constant integration dt 0 to 2 limit so when I integrate this dA, I will get simply A. Already one negative sign is there. Okay. So the limit is uh, initial concentration A0, final concentration A is equal to K. Integration T dt will get T, initial concentration 0, final concentration T. Upper limit minus lower limit. So you will get minus A, minus of minus plus A0, which is equal to K T minus 0. So you can rewrite this as A0 concentration of A0 minus concentration of A which is equal to KT. So simply you can write K is equal to concentration of A0 minus A divided by T. So this is the rate constant. Okay. So, so once again like our previous example we can rewrite this equation like a in concentration of A which is equal to concentration of A0 minus kt you can compare with uh, our straight line equation y is equal to mx plus c so y is equal to c plus mx so here y will be uh, a concentration of a and x will be uh, temperature t and in which the uh, slope will be negative slope minus k okay so in which no x axis you can take concentration of uh, i mean uh, the x axis you can take temperature and y axis you can take the concentration of a you will get the negative slope negative straight line with the slope of k so uh, i hope you understand this integrated rate law for both zero order and first order both the reactions both the derivations are very very important in the exam point of view so kindly learn thank you